Yo, what's going on, everybody? It's JD, and we are back for a review. Actually, a full-length gameplay review. Spoiler free. Spoiler free of Spider-Man 2 on PlayStation 5. I've had the game since the beginning of the month, and I actually beat it. I, I was surprised that I beat it. <laughs> I finished it not too long ago, maybe um, last week, and it was great. I had a good time, and this is my review of the game for you all, spoiler free. Also, the Let's Plays will be coming out live here on YouTube. They will be first uploaded to Patreon and YouTube memberships, and I believe we'll be doing them early a day for each uh, platform. So Patreon will get it like a day before, along with YouTube members, and then the next day I'm going to put it up on my channel because I do want people to see it, share it, be a part of the Let's Play, and hopefully grow the channel more. This will be one of the very few Let's Plays that I think I do this for. So if you want to see some early content, check it out on Patreon, check it out on YouTube memberships. And also, I think I will stream the game all over again. I beat the game and they give you a new difficulty setting to go with on a new uh, story mode let's play. So so I was like, uh, maybe I'll just stream it the day it drops. We will see. I believe I'm allowed to start streaming on the 19th, which is a day before the game comes out. All right. With that, this is going to be somewhat of a one take Drake explainer of my review of the game. I wrote some notes down. So if you see me checking my notes, you know, it's all good. Uh, but yeah. They actually just dropped a brand new uh, trailer gameplay trailer for the game that I think came out over this weekend. So I'll probably be cutting footage between that and my B-roll footage. And I don't know if I'm allowed to use any of my gameplay capture footage. They did say you could, but I don't want to cross the line with PlayStation. So I'm probably just going to use the B-roll they gave me if I want to talk and other things. All right, enough rambling. Let's get into it. So let's start with gameplay the gameplay is really nice i'm a big fan of all of the updated things that have come to fruition in this game the first game on ps4 spider-man it felt way too in my opinion clunky and then we've got miles morales which Miles morales was really good at giving us more of a free-flowing spirit when it came to web swinging, traversal, getting around, just the fluidity of the game was all around better than the original PS4 game. And then I know the remaster had some of that, not really much, but it was more of a remaster. It didn't have upgraded different like maneuverability with Peter Parker in the in the remaster game. But in this one, the gameplay mechanics have ex they, they they they've they've, you know, they've passed exceeded all expectations you're able to traverse in such a way through the city that just feels natural you know like the use of the web wings the web wings they literally get you to and from like a completely different part of the city within minutes and it's so much quicker and you can also tr fast travel at a certain point but you're not even going to want to fast travel because you're you're going to be able to get to your destination in like max a minute maybe 30 seconds or 45 seconds it really doesn't take that long to get to and from the places that you want to be in the city which i think is uh definitely beneficial in my opinion and this was me halfway playing through the game i did find the gameplay of this game to be maybe slightly easier than i expected so much so that i said to myself you know what i think i'm gonna put the game on hard mode and i put the game on the hardest mode and then i also brought down the web swinging uh, i guess it's like a web swinging like help uh like kind of i don't know like kind of scale where you can pick between one and ten to web swing whether it's uh really really low at zero or really high at 10 10 means it's easier for you to web swing it almost like attaches to the sky and then when you bring it down to zero it's very specific of like you being able to web swing but if you web swing to a building all the way on your right like you're gonna do it in a way where it gives you a new narrative and we've all seen old spider-man movies and played spider-man games and even watched spider-man the cartoon show and all that stuff but i feel like spider-man has a genuine universe that is like just well thought out enough and just like full of characters that you can actually continue to make these stories for a while so 
it will take you on a, on a roller coaster of emotions. You'll be at the edge of your seat. You'll have a great time. There will be some story beats that might catch you off guard. And I, I personally thought the story was really well executed. Even even so much so that there were like plot twists in there and, and Easter eggs that I was like, whoa, what the heck? They're showing this in the game? Okay, that's that's pretty crazy. Um, even like for me personally, some of it was a little bit like far out if i could say i don't know how to explain that like i think a part of a part of it was i was already kind of guessing what was going to happen next and then something kind of like flipped it on its head and i was like oh okay wait i didn't see this happening and this feels like way out there but i won't spoil it any i, I won't spoil it period but yeah i would say the story is really good and they do a good job of taking you on a roller coaster and showing you things that you may think you would not see in this game you know i don't, I don't know how to say anything else all right i'm gonna I'm stop there i'm gonna stop there now um let's get into characters okay so we got our main cast of characters we got peter parker miles morales uh mary jane watson j jonah jameson um uh harry osborne norman osborne uh genki Haley. <clears throat> uh a whole lot of people you know and they all play their roles in this game very well you get the opportunity to learn more about them through their backstories you get more of a backstory of um you know peter and, and mary jane's relationship miles's relationship with his friends genki Haley, and their little uh you know cute little like you know high school uh romance and then you also get even more story about what's going on with, you know, uh, uh, Miles's mom, uh, his, his mom, you know, unfortunately, they lost their father. She's, you know, an adult. So she's starting to maybe think about, you know, maybe finding new people to connect with. There's there's that possibility. You have the the whole backstory of Harry and his, you know, illness, which. I mean, listen, uh, who, who, you know, the boy, the boy, the boy been sick. We knew this from the last two games. If you've seen the cutscenes of the last two, obviously, but he, Harry has his whole like arc, which is very interesting. And I would say in the sense of story, you know, there, there are some story beats with Harry and Peter that are like really good. And then some that are just like, okay. <laughs> and they kind of flush themselves out with time. It's it's a really well done and interesting, interestingly executed story, if I'm going to say that myself. But I do think that um, there are there are some parts of the game that I was concerned about. Like if you remember my interview with the uh, the lead programmer for the game from Insomniac Games, I did say to my to to him, I was like, listen, no disrespect, but from what I played, I feel like Miles is just a side character. And he's kind of just along for the ride. And he was being honest when he said, well, you know, Miles has a deeper level of story. And I will say that it takes a while, but it absolutely is paid off in the end. And I'm not spoiling anything. I'm just saying that, like, my worries for Miles, I they were gone by the time I got to the end of the game. I was like, oh, my God, thank you. Thank goodness. Because I, at first I was just like, man, my boy, my boy, my boy over here just sitting on the bleachers. So, you know, um, but no, I think they did a good job paying off um, his story and, and, and teaching you new things about his character along with Peter and, and Mary Jane and all these characters and even maybe some flashbacks with like Aunt May. So it's all really good. These are all things that are just kind of like uh, vague. I'm not telling you what's going on. But those are things that I, I very much noticed. Okay, let's talk about side quests. So the side quests in the game are actually really fun. I, I liked all of the side quests that we were able to use in this game. I haven't finished them. I will say that I'm I think I'm 80 percent done with like the entirety of the game, not just the story, like 80 percent done with side quests, opening up all the districts, um, uh, updating my characters to 100% and whatever the heck else they have in the game. The one thing I haven't done is bought or 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 earned all the suits. Like, they all keep... I'm not spoiling the suits, by the way. They all keep showing up on the list of suits, so I get to see what suits are up next. But I haven't, uh, like, used any of the... 
I guess you call them parts or tokens to pay for them. I was going to wait and do that for maybe when the game comes out and maybe show them off to y'all in a video. I'm sure that'll be a video that comes out the day that the game drops. I'm sure that'll be a video. So maybe I'll make my own version. Um, but I did enjoy all the side quests. The side quests were really well done, you know, like they feel a lot more fun than the ones that we had to do in the Spider-Man PS4 game and maybe a lot less tedious than the ones from Miles Morales. They actually, I, I like look forward to doing the side quest, which is I think a different feeling compared to what I felt in the past with the previous games. Um, but that is, that is me saying that only cause in the first few games, it felt like they were a little all over the place and now they're more cohesive and they have benefits and they actually kind of tie together. Like once you do one side quest, and I know that this is probably something they did in the previous game, but as you finish off one side quest, you'll end up going to an, a continuation of that said side quest that will help you open up the next level of the district or the next level of what it is you're trying to accomplish, which made my experience way more enjoyable. All right, now let's, uh, we're talking Easter eggs, but not we're not spoiling it. I'm just mentioning that some of this stuff did surprise me. So there are a few Easter eggs in the game that I genuinely was not expecting to see. <laughs> and um, and I, I think they were really surprising. They were really interesting. But I, I don't know how to explain other than like it's it's well worth the wait is what I would like to say. Well worth the wait. And there's certain parts of the game that I was not expecting to see. And then I saw it and I was like, wait, what? wait a minute. And I'm sure you'll see it in my reactions to uh, um, of the game itself when my Let's Play drops. And um, that's all I'm going to say for now. I've got nothing really else to say because uh, that's, you know, I don't want to get into Easter egg or spoiler territory. I will say this. Some of my questions that weren't allowed to be asked, I think may or may not have been valid i that's from my one video i'm not gonna say which or what but I, that's all i gotta say <laughs> okay now let's get to pros and cons i got them listed here all right so this game is definitely a step up from the ps4 game there's no doubt about that and a step up from miles morales too it's like it takes the best of both and then it makes it into its own almost extended cut or like a like a 2.0 3.0 version of those games um it feels like a, like a like a like a brand new fresh version of them and it, it's rethought the different tools and the different characteristics and the different mechanisms that you could use to do things in the game and make it even better that is what i personally think and you know even though it is brand new though this is my only thing like a, a pro con i'm gonna throw it in there we know what to expect we played ps4 spider-man we've played miles morales this game is absolutely new but it's not in my opinion for me for me when i played it it didn't hit me in a way where i was like oh snap like this is great like you know the first time you ever played this game by insomniac which would be the playstation 4 version i think is that's like a moment that you may get a second jolt of that and i did for certain moments in the game but because i'm so kind of like already tied into this universe and i know what to expect it's not like a game where i'm just like oh man this is completely new you know like, like i think you know what i mean kind of like god of war ragnarok like everyone was like oh man it looks the same plays the same like yeah because they're building on something else that already did really that that went really well so to me that's what this game is a pro is that it feels that's all i can say Thank you for making those segments better. No disrespect to Mary. They, they're just they're just better. I don't I don't. Is that a is that a spoiler? Like, bro, she's in the game. Yeah. Without without those like booby traps that I could set, it felt a little limiting. But I mean, there was other ways to make up for it. So I enjoyed it. I'm sorry that this is such a long winded review, but I'm at the end of it. Here we go. Final thoughts and my score. Um, I definitely thought it was a really good game. I'm excited to see what else they might come up with in the future if they if they do come up with anything else I'm not sure if this game goes further than this, but from what I got it was a very nice way to Almost like start a new chapter and yet finish a chapter, you know, like You know, we've got Peter and Miles doing their thing together and and we're closing the book on some other stuff so I thought that it was really well well done well written interesting 
and executed in ways that I did not expect, characters I didn't expect to see, funny cutscenes, the podcast radio moments with uh, Danica and J. Jonah Jameson <laughs> going around and seeing landmarks, uh, being able to do photo mode, all of it was really well tied together. And I think the game has a lot of you ever, you know, get maybe they maybe they go do like subcategory Spider-Man games and we go off of this timeline and we get like Gwen Stacy in her own game. Or maybe we get like a, I don't know, uh, Miguel O'Hara, Spider-Man 2099 game. I have no idea. I, I have no idea. Uh, but if I was going to give it a score, I would score this game a 9.5 out of 10. I think I think only because of maybe that one or two con that was really it there were th that was it like i mean if we're being honest like ex entertainment wise it was definitely like a 10 out of 10 but if i'm just gonna give it like a legitimate score i'll give it a 9.5 um i will also say this towards the end i felt like maybe it's because it was the first time i had a chance to actually sit back and grind a game in a long time it was definitely like my first my first one was like an hour and nine minutes and then an hour and 22 minutes and i think i added them all up and it ended up being anywhere between like 15 and a half hours so if you're a quick gamer and if you're good at this game you might burn through it but if you go i i would personally if i were to play this again i would go through and i would do all of the side quests first and i would like maybe do a story beat all the side quests in a district this a story beat all the side quests in another district story beat another side because that'll give you a lot more longevity in the game um but if you're just trying to get through the story you just want to see what happens it'll probably take you anywhere between like 13 to 17 hours it's not it's probably the same length if not longer than the, the original spider-man game on ps4 uh but yeah that do with that information what you will but yeah that's my that's my review I thought it was great. I thought it was a really fun experience and I'm excited to see, uh, you know, like what they do in the future with like Wolverine. Like, will that tie into this? Will anything else happen? Um, you know, is there is there DLC for this? I think we heard that there isn't, but what, maybe who knows? Maybe there's a last minute change. I'm not sure. Uh, but yeah, I think that's all that I have to say about this. And I hope you all enjoyed this video. And if you did, you know what to do. Hit the like button, share, link's description below, subscribe. This was a long one, but I wanted to get it all the way through and make it a legitimate video. Uh, you know, I'm not IGN or, or GameSpot or GameStop, whatever. I'm just a guy who got a chance to work with PlayStation. And thank you to PlayStation for allowing me to get the game early and share it with you all and talk to you about different things. So if you enjoy this type of content, I appreciate you. And uh, there's, you know, again, no spoilers here. I will not be ruining the game. I want you to go and ex explore and enjoy it for yourself this week. So best of luck to you playing the game. And if you enjoyed my content or you want to see more stuff like this, please let me know in the comments down below what you'd like to see. Leave a like. We got Patreon. We got YouTube memberships for people who want to see stuff early. And I will see you all on the next one. All right. I'm out of here. Peace.